Hi everyone, uh, just a new video today. Uh, I received uh, some messages about uh, is it possible to integrate Matomo Analytics to Google Data Studio? Okay, I, I'm not very fond of uh, this project here because uh, as you know, if you are using Matomo, it means that um, you probably do not want to send uh, the data to any, um, and let's say any GAFAM players, but let's imagine that's the case. Okay. Uh, if you look for information about, uh, how to do that, you will probably find this, uh, good article uh, wrote, written, written by Eric Schumann, who is explaining how you can connect, uh, Matomo, uh, to Google, uh, data studio and, uh, is mentioning it, uh, here below that actually you have kind of three ways of doing it. And the way that is describing here is the, with, through the MySQL connector. Um, I'm not gonna develop that technique here because I did it in another video, uh, which was explaining how to do it with Metabase, but it's exactly the same thing. So you can connect your Matomo MySQL database to uh, Google Data Studio. Okay, you need to do, uh, you need to select uh, the data connector named the MySQL uh, connector, and then you need data studio, and then uh, you just need to precise what are uh, the, the connection to your MySQL database. Okay, so if you just uh, click over here, um, it's going to ask you after that what is your data source, and then uh, you need to create a data source, and out of the data source, you need to select uh, the MySQL one, and then you need to uh, enter the credential of your MySQL database. However, and as I'm mentioning it here, as when uh, you will create your report within Google Data Studio, it's gonna make some requests to your MySQL database, which is probably the same as uh, the one that uh, your user are using in order to uh, request the report of Matomo. Uh, it may actually uh, take your server down. So that's why is um, strongly advising you, I don't know where it's putting it, but uh, yes, you recommend to mirror your S uh, SQL database um, in order for you not to query actually the database which, are, which is collecting the data. So uh, th that's one way to do it, okay? You use the MySQL uh, database in order to create uh, your report within uh, Google Data Studio, or you can use uh, the import of files, okay? That's the method that I show uh, for Microsoft BI and I show it with a static file. The one I'm gonna show you today is the Google uh, spreadsheet integration. So the idea is uh, you can choose actually a data source, which is a Google spreadsheet and on the Google spreadsheet, uh, you're gonna use um, the, uh, the following sentence, the import data. You're gonna put here uh, the uh, report that you would like to export. So for example, that's the pages one. So the pages one, you get at the end the export, you get the full URL, and then uh, you take this out, you just go for a CSV in your case, you copy and paste it, and then you put it here, and then it's gonna uh, show out all the data within uh, the Google spreadsheet. And then uh, when you choose the Google uh, spreadsheet data connector, and that's the one that you wanted. As you can see, you can just uh, pick up uh, all uh, the data that you were uh, interested about, and then you can start actually uh, interact, play, and just query all uh, the reports that you would like to get, right? So, and that's uh, that's the final result. Uh, so the main issue of this method here is that uh, Google Data Studio normally is uh, used in order to be interactive when you change uh, the calendar. So I can change the calendar over here, but you're gonna see that it's not gonna change anything because, uh, because it's not uh, linked to anything, right? So if I choose like uh, the 15th of March, as you can see, wish I could move the stuff, can I? Is it impossible? Yes, it's possible to move it. Okay, so here I can, as you can see, I selected from the 15th of March to the 27th of March. And if I go over here and I change, I'm gonna choose the force instead. Okay, so look at the data, 988. Okay, nothing is changing and no reason why it's not changing at all. Uh, that's because of course it's not changing the data field over here, right? Here you will need actually to go on this spreadsheet and to change uh, the given date period in order, which is over here, here's the date yesterday in order to 
to make it happen. So uh, just to make it uh, simple and to go straight to the point, if you go for the Google spreadsheet method, you will need on each time to change the date on the spreadsheet, which is not very convenient. I don't know uh, if uh, Google Data Studio allows you actually to create your own calendar within uh, the Google spreadsheet in order to uh, manage the layouts uh, from here. I don't think so. That's why normally the MySQL method described here will be better than the one that I'm just uh, describing you here. It's just that this one is a bit more technical because if you don't want actually to kill uh, your uh, your database, you will need, as mentioned here, to mirror uh, your uh, ASQL database in order to have one to query for uh, the data studio and one that you leave in peace in order to collect the data from Matomo. But just uh, to make a recap, it's possible to import data within Google Data Studio. It's no big deal. It's exactly the same method as I described for Metabase and for Microsoft BI. Thanks for watching.